good day. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make a self-watering bucket. Kind of like that one. So if you're going to reuse a five gallon bucket, you're not going to buy one, you're going to reuse one, make sure it didn't have caustic chemicals in it before. It should be a self-explanatory warning, but I still got to say it. So clean them up. Don't use them if they've been used for, for shit. Don't do it. I'm warning you. You can find five gallon buckets at places like bakeries, delis, butcher shops, pretty much anywhere like you can get food grade ones. I have one over over there, over yonder that had uh, icing in it. Uh, clean it out real good. Wasps love icing. So what you will need is a piece of PVC pipe, one and one quarter, doesn't have to be, it helps if it is, uh, a basket, ideally you'd want to use uh, hydroponic baskets or um, hydroponic baskets or uh, something that, uh, you know, is not a CD lid, but I mean, this will work. You'll also need a drill. Uh, hole saws to match your size of PVC pipe, some coffee filters, and last but not least, your one gallon buckets. No, no, like those ones. Yeah. So I got these two buckets so graciously donated by my, by my neighbor. Uh, as you can see, there are holes pre-drilled in the bottom. Do not drill these holes. I am the one who tells you to drill the holes. As you can see, that is a bit of an issue for the project we have at hand, but as long as you, uh, you know, get new buckets, you should be fine. Alright, so step one is you want to put one bucket inside of the other bucket, like so. Uh, these buckets are still wet, and I want to make sure they don't fuse, because that's what happened to that other poor bucket. Ow! Now we take our PVC, which is too fucking long. Great God. Now because my piece of PVC is too freaking long to stand up in this garage, uh, you then measure from the bottom of the bucket to just above the top, so you want your piece of PVC sticking up about that far from the bucket, which is 21 inches. Don't know if you can see that. And now on our piece of PVC, I'm going to measure 21 inches. As you can see, this one, uh, this one has four holes in it. The inside bucket doesn't really matter too terribly much. Uh, I'm choosing this one because the other one has cracks in the bottom, and this inside bucket will be the one that holds all of your dirt. So now what we will do is we will find the correct hole saw. Yes, that will fit our piece of PVC we have just cut. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, guess what's a 7 16 And also something you shouldn't try at home. Yeah. Alright, so I figured I should talk over this because I didn't really do a very good job of explaining it in the video. Uh, I made the hole saw about a centimeter away from the outside of the bucket. You don't want it too close to the wall, the outside wall of the bucket, so make sure it's in just a little bit. And I put the basket on top of the bucket just to, uh, to size everything up, and I had to offset it just a little bit, so that way there was more room between where the hole saw was going through and where the basket is. You can play around with the basket position a little bit, just make sure it's fairly centered. It, it doesn't have to be perfect. It's all going to be covered up anyways. <laughs> While I have the hole saw out, I'm also going to be making a, uh, a 45 in the end of this tube. That's so when it's the, the pipe is sitting at the bottom of the uh, five gallon bucket, it's not going to just not breathe, as it were. It'll make sense, it'll make sense, trust me. I need it to be going backwards. So the secret here is, is you take the end of the drill bit and you angle it just along the edge and you make sure it's in reverse. And this is going to be hard because I'm using a frickin' socket on the end of this because I don't have a drill big enough. 
and you just sort of let it run until it can make a little groove there for it to bite into and you make sure you keep it at the same angle come on bite and then once you have a groove then you just sort of hold it and push it's just it will constantly try to keep running away on you so it's speed and not so much pressure more speed than pressure because as you can see I can hang on to this thing with my hand Hey, if the women can't find you handsome, they can at least find you handy. Now the final thing you want to do to this bucket is you want to drill holes, not as big as this. Uh, I think this is something 64th, 964th, something like that. I don't know. As you can see, it's a considerably smaller bit than this, uh, and you want to add in enough holes that it will allow for proper drainage, but your dirt won't flow through the bottom. So the idea behind this, my friends, is that when you first start off your plant, let's put this the right way, your dirt will be in here and your water chamber will be down here. I'm hoping this is framed up right because I really can't see. But the, bu the basket, this thing will sit inside and poke through. The water will wick from the water chamber into the basket and then up to however high it wicks. When your baby plants first start off, their roots won't go down that far so you'll still have to water them through the top until they get a root system and then you can start using the fill tube. Whoops, it's upside down. But you, you get you get what I'm saying here. So this these holes are just to allow drainage so that the bottom of your plant doesn't become all uh, all funky. Now we have to drill holes in this uh, this here uh, lovely uh, container uh, thing. So this is now our bottom bucket and this is our top bucket. We can now put the two together, and as you can see, it sort of has this bottom chamber where the lip sits on the side and all of that. So I'll take this, and it fits. It's a snug fit, indeed it is. Come on, come on sunshine, there we go. Oh yes. And it fits, it almost fits to the bottom. As you might be able to hear, there's about like that much room between the bottom, so. Uh, what I will do now is I will take this bucket out, kick this one aside, and with this in here, I'm going to drill the holes in it. Alright, wish me luck. Oh, fuck. Oh, no. It already split. So this is not going to go well, I can already tell. No pressure, just friction. Yeah, you can see the little split lines in it. Oh no! Yeah, not so much on that side, so do take caution when you're drilling through this uh, fine, uh, lovely plastic stuff. Or do yourself a favor and get a hydroponic bucket. Then you don't have to deal with any of this. Six and a half hours later. We also need to drill our drainage hole. In order to do that, there's an easy way to do it. Uh, you grab yourself a flashlight. Oh, that's so bright. And you stick it in your bucket, like about there. As you can see, it uh, does not focus because of the light. And now you can see that. On the other side, we will take this bug 
pocket and once we slide it in to here. Also make sure that your flashlight isn't resting on that container, so give me a minute. Okay, 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 nice. So now that's in there. You can now comfortably see the lip or the light divide between the inner bucket and the outer bucket. And we'll take our handy dandy sharpie. We'll then want to mark it right at about, uh, about there. About there. Yes. And you want to go no higher than right there. And that will be your, your drainage spout um, for your water. So that way when you fill the, the fill stick, the water level will come up to about here and then it will pour out the side. Also, if you have a uh, a label on the side and you don't want to look at it, say you want to have the label towards your house, you can have the nice side fa facing that way and you know think about where you're going to put your drill hole. Unfortunately, this one was a uh, West Rock Drywall Concrete Compound and it's written on both sides. So this is the part where you would uh, put, your, put your dirt in there. If you've got some pre-mix, then throw your pre-mix in there. Uh, if you want to add some nutrients to it, like some bone meal or some whatever, I recommend putting it in a wheelbarrow first, mixing it up and then throwing it in there. Uh, unfortunately, I don't have a bag of dirt or pre-mix either, so I'm going to go raid the neighbor's flower bed and get some dirt. Alright, so once you're done pulling the neighbor's petunias out of your dirt, you'll then want to make sure that you add dirt into the coffee filter first. Try to pack it down a little bit. Uh, the idea behind this is this will be your wicking basket. Uh, the coffee filter helps from uh, the dirt getting into the water chamber. Uh, to patch these holes, I'm just putting marbles over the big holes and then going to fill them in with dirt afterwards. It shouldn't be a big deal. There's enough other holes. Um, it's, it's just a basic patch job, so I'm losing my marbles in, in the form of plant pots. And then, yeah, just make sure you have your PVC in there, fill it up, uh, and then put your plant in. So, yeah. Alrighty, so the final step would be to plant it. Sorry I didn't show you that, but I kind of need both hands for that one. And uh, there you have it, you're done. Um, you will have to water this from the top first, like watering the soil instead of using the fill tube for the first little bit until this little guy uh, grows some, some actual roots to reach the bottom, near the bottom of the bucket. Uh, you can tell when that is, uh, when you fill this up and he doesn't start to look like he's dying in a, in a drought. Which shouldn't be too long if they're not in a pot, such as one of these. Anyways, thanks so much for watching, and we'll catch you in the next one. Peace.